Let's talk about how to create new items in RPG Maker's database. Items are collectibles that the player can gain and lose in your game, and are stored in their inventory. Items can have an array of effects on the field in battle, or they can be used as key items to be required by quests and other events in your game. The item type dictates which sub-menu the item will appear in. Hidden items will not appear in the menu, but this feature can be used when using the Select Item event. An item's price is how much it will be sold for by default in shops. If the player sells an item to a shop, they will receive half of the price. If an item is marked as consumable, it means that it will disappear or reduce in quantity after the player uses it. You can also choose how many enemies or allies will be affected by an item using scope. Occasion lets you select whether the item can be used in the menu, battle, both, or neither. Speed is where the item will appear in the turn order, with higher values placing the action first. This also factors in the actor's agility stat. The success rate is how likely the actor is to successfully use the item. Repeat is how many times an effect is applied per single use of the item. TP gain is how much TP will be gained when the item is used. Similar to skills, items can make use of damage formulas. You can also select special effects that can be used for recovery, revival, states, etc. In the next video, we'll look into how to create new weapons and armors in the database. Thanks for watching, and happy game developing!